Wow, daring Catherine goes braless in pale blue Jenny Peckham gown for her romantic outing. There's a million reasons to love Kate Middleton. She's gorgeous, she's regal, and she uses her position to fight for critical causes like the importance of mental health issues. Yet somehow she still manages to stay totally relatable. Maybe it's just because, just like most of the rest of us, she battles body shamers. And she has morning sickness that she fights off with her favorite cookies. Or maybe it's because she's just so darn sweet and graceful, we could totally picture sitting down to have tea with her at a local coffee shop. One thing we can't relate to, how utterly perfect she is in the fashion arena. Seriously, does this woman ever have a day off? Whether she's releasing a statement or going for a casual stroll with her husband, Kate always looks impeccable. Modesty gets a lot of shade from the fashion community mostly because it is mistakenly associated with dull, shapeless, and unflattering clothes. However, one of the modest community's biggest icon, Catherine, is one of the most recognizable celebrities in the world. Yes, Kate Milton dresses modestly, though you probably didn't notice, which is the entire point. She nearly always covers her shoulders, shows very little cleavage, and doesn't wear anything above the knee. With a host of Bond girls to compete with, the Duchess of Cambridge turned on the glitz at the world premiere of Spectre. It's not very often we get to see some glam cane, so we had to take this in, bask in it, figure out how to make it work for a Halloween costume. Oh, William and Harry were there too, wearing tuxes. Behold, Harry's beard perhaps, if this is bold, bold claim, never looked better. In a pale blue dress by Jenny Peckham, diamond robins and Pelham earrings, and a sparkly bag, Kate too much excitement on the red carpet outside the Royal Albert Hall. Appearing to go braless, Kate dows in a bespoke, diaphanous, pale blue full-length gown by her go-to evening wear designer, Jenny Peckham. The dress has a halter-style top but with spaghetti straps at the shoulder, as opposed to the garment's fabric going up to the neck and being tied in the back. Kate's gown also showcased a crossover top in the front and a full multi-layer skirt. It helped highlight Kate's slender flame. Perhaps the most distinctive design element is the bodice topped by a sheer overlay that is slit open on the back. The garment closes at the back neck and with a zipper and skirt of a portion of the piece. Kate accessorized with a clutch that was also by Jenny Peckham, the miniature castle bag. The Duchess wore Robinson Pelham earrings, the jeweler's pagoda-style set with blue topaz and diamond in white gold. It pointed out that Carol Middleton actually wore those earrings back in 2011 for Kate and William's evening wedding reception, and she wore her vamp platform sandals from Jimmy Choo. In case of, the royals are just like us, Kate went and tried out bangs for a bit. Unlike the rest of us, she got a professional hairstylist on call who can style them for her and hour out all the cowlicks. Regardless, her mid-length fringe really suits her, worn here for an event at Royal Albert Hall with a middle part and a low curly updo. In a flurry of gold glitz and crystal embossing, the James Bond No Time to Die world premiere in 2021 oozed with old Hollywood glamour, a clear signal that fashion and red carpet looks are officially back. Kate Middleton. The princess set the bar and sparkling for the paparazzi lens in a gold Jenny Peckham gown. Onlookers were in agreement. Onlookers were in agreement. This is a look for a future queen. A look that will go down in history as one of her best, up there with Princess Diana's Christina Stambolian revenge dress. The Jenny Packham cape gown was based on the designer's AW21 collection. Kate paired it with Aquazura metallic toed pumps and opted for Onita gold earrings. For the premiere of Top Gun Maverick in London 2022, the Duchess of Cambridge wore a gorgeous 3,074 pound black and white off shoulder gown by Roland Murray, which she chose to pair with starry earrings and her hair straight behind her ears. While the dress is sold out in the American luxury department store Neiman Marcus site, it has been advertised online for $3,840, which converts to 3,074 pounds. Meanwhile, Prince William donned a velvet Alexander McQueen dinner jacket, tuxedo trousers, and velvet slippers embroidered with silver planes to commemorate the new film.